Ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that came out about two weeks ago from Bustle. Emergency pet marijuana overdose calls are up by 765%, according to the ASPCA. Now, animals are not going to process marijuana the same way humans do. I think some people have that expectations. And when they actually get sick, they're shocked. But you really shouldn't be shocked. You know, it's just like medications. You can give some medications to dogs and they're going to react totally different from humans. So the fact that you're getting your dog stoned and they're getting really sick, that should, you know, that's very telling. Well, the treats that they have out today, ladies and gentlemen, are for both dogs and cats where dogs tend to want to have some type of treat that they can eat. So a lot of people will tend to give them those treats. And now the poisoning from the marijuana is impacting the dogs probably a little more than the cats a lot heavily. So now, uh, according to the ASCPA Poison Control Center, a 24-hour hotline, there were only 208 marijuana related calls in 2008, but by 2016, that number had risen to 979. And just a year later in 2017, reached 1,486. Last year, there were 1,800 calls, an increase of more than 760% in just the past 10 years. You know, before you buy those treats, or even I'll say you buy the treats without doing any research on how your pets may react or if any other pets got sick. Do you give a small sample to your dog first to see how they're going to react? Or do you just give them the whole thing and then they end up getting sick? You know, you really have to think about that. Okay, now you're going to see people give these treats to their pets a lot more because of the legalization and decriminalization of uh, marijuana that's on the rise. Many states are now legalizing it. And because it's legal, people are now trying to get some for their pets. Um, let me see here. Um, okay, so they're saying that, you know, like dogs, many of them go by the sense of smell to determine whether they want to eat something or not. And of course, they're going to eat the treats, but this is what you must understand. Dogs are 10 times more sensitive to weed than humans. Thanks to an abundance of cannabinoid receptors. Even if the THC is low, many edibles contain ingredients that a dog cannot process or digest, like chocolate and some types of nuts. So it is not just the effects of marijuana, but whatever else they may have eaten with it that can get your pet into some trouble. Knowing what your pet can and cannot eat is really important, especially if you're going to have treats around that pique their interest. And I agree with that, you know, but I, I would think people would be smart enough to at least test a small sample before giving your dog an entire treat that turns out to have an adverse effect on them. <clears throat> Okay, so it's just telling you, of course, if your pet is not having a good impact after ingesting the marijuana, you want to take them to the vet, which is common sense. Um, <clears throat> while there is an option to of lipid injections to help sober them up faster, if your dog is okay, um, then I guess there's very little of concern. You know, they'll have to just make sure it wears off and there's no harm to the pet. 
Of course, some people purposefully uh, give their dogs marijuana or other cannabinoid products, either to treat illness or to manage pain in pets who are terminally ill. Though there have been some positive results using THC uh, products to help pets, it's really important to do your research. Ultimately, it's your decision, but taking um, talking to your vet. Yeah, that's probably the best thing for you to do if you have a pet. And, and also learning what your pet can tolerate and what they can't. Although the idea of a super stoned puppy might sound hilarious and adorable, the consequences may be very serious. Being a reasonable pet owner means making your home a safe place. So hide those brownies where Buddy can't reach them. I think that's a shame. I really do. I hate seeing pets get harmed. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.